You're listening to the Lessons in Real Estate Show, sponsored by Mission First Capital, bringing real estate investment deals for active duty and veteran investors. Your host, Anthony Pinto, searched land, air, and sea to find military investors just like you investing in multifamily and commercial real estate, both active duty and veterans. Hear their stories, learn their lessons, and be inspired by the obstacles they have overcome on their path to financial freedom. Whether you are overseas or stationed at home, if you want to get started as a military real estate investor, this is the show for you. And now your host, Anthony Pinto. Hey learners and welcome back to a, another PCI Teaches on this beautiful Monday. And last week we talked about how to source deals or, or the types of real estate deals you can get into. And this week we're gonna be talking about um, commercial real estate brokers more and how you actually go about finding them. And then uh, we'll get into how to actually contact and talk with a broker after that. Uh, Cause both of those two things are very important when it comes to finding and talking with a commercial real estate broker. Uh, first off, let's start with the fact that commercial real estate brokers is kind of a, a, um, a broad term. And why I say that is because commercial real estate encompasses a lot of different types of real estate. And that could be multifamily, retail, industrial, uh, self storage, uh, medical, you know, offices, you know, gas station. I mean, there's a lot of different types of retail or uh, types of uh, commercial real estate that a broker could potentially be uh, selling or be, um, a top producer in when it comes to uh, comes to selling those types of properties. So first and foremost, you need to find one, find a broker if you're dealing with multifamily uh, that is specifically a multifamily brokerage or a multifamily broker. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've reached out to individuals without fully understanding that um, commercial real estate brokers are not all the same individuals or types of individuals, and they could they could be offering you a number of different things and someone who's super successful in a particular area may be successful in retail, may not have a lot of multifamily properties available to you. And so, or at all, they may specialize in, in retail or, or uh, you know, self storage or industrial or whatever. So first and foremost, I would say that if you're going to find a commercial real estate broker, you need to be specific and, and understand if the broker that you're looking for is uh, specifically a multifamily broker. Uh, or whatever your particular industry is you're looking for. So first and foremost, you need to know if they're a multifamily broker. And then from there, you can really, you should search for the top four or five brokers, uh, commercial or multifamily brokerages in the area. And really what I mean by the top is like, who are the highest producing uh, multifamily brokerages within the area uh, that consistently have properties going up, consistently selling properties or buy properties. Um, and then, for, in my opinion, once you have those, bro those brokerages kind of uh, nailed down on who the top four or five brokers are within your area, I would honestly, I would pick a smaller fish, particularly if you're getting started in commercial real estate and you don't really have a lot of uh, experience to back you up or a lot of deals uh, or, you know, a, a large company or a lot, a, a number of years under your belt or principals that have a lot of experience. To, uh, to be able to throw around when it talks to commercial real estate brokers. So the best way I say go about that is once you have the brokerages in mind is just find a smaller fish uh, within those brokerages that are trying to make a name for themselves. They're often the ones who are pounding the pavement a lot more, who are finding these, you know, these pocket listings, who are, are finding these deals that are off market. And they're more likely to be able to, um, you know, run down a deal for you because they're eager to make a name for themselves and eager for, uh, to, to make money obviously for themselves. So, um, that being said, you may find a lot of smaller deals from these types of brokers, you know, 20, 30 unit deals, depending on the, on the area. Uh, and if you're looking for a hundred, 200, 400 unit deals, you're probably not going to have a, luck, a lot of luck finding those with those particular smaller fish. And then, um, so that's how you actually go about finding a, a particular broker. So, but let's dig into that a little bit more. How are the actual, um, physical ways that you go about actually finding these particular brokers or go about finding these top uh, multifamily brokerages in the area. 
And, um, and these are in no particular order, but uh, the first thing you can do is you can just search top producing multifamily broker or brokerage within a, within the desired area that you're looking for. So for example, top producing multifamily broker in Hampton Roads, and you just see what pops up. Um, most likely uh, websites for multiple different brokerages or pop up or someone's LinkedIn or uh, a Facebook page, maybe even if they have it on, on Facebook and you'll just see who the top brokers are, the top brokerages are within those areas just by doing that search. Um, depending on how large your market is, that may work for you, that may not, but I'll at least give you a, a good starting point to, to go from. Another way you can go about doing that is uh, going onto Facebook and joining uh, real estate investment groups or multifamily groups within a particular market. They may have a lot of individuals who have done deals within those areas, and you may be able to um, ask for you know brokers names or ask for introductions to brokers or maybe even find brokers within that group that may be able to uh, you may be able to contact from there. Um, or you may just be able to see who constantly talk, who's talking about, uh, Hey, I did this deal with this broker. I did this deal with that broker and see what kind of pops up. Uh, another way that you can go about it, um, which I think is a great way is to just search large brokerages, uh, that are like national wide brokerages within your particular area, or really just search, you know, um, commercial real estate brokerages in your city. And some of those names that may pop up are, are uh, companies like Marcus and Millichat, uh, Colliers, International, um, NA, NAI Dominion may come up as well. Uh, there's a, a lot of different companies that are out there that are national brokerages that have um, offices all over the country. And uh, you may find that those are often the top brokers within those particular areas. And yes, they are the top brokers. That means that they also have a lot of clients. Uh, that are vying for their attention and vying for property. So you really need to get in with them and build up a track record and uh, be able to work with them and build a relationship before you can really expect to get a lot out of them. But um, searching for brokerage websites is a great way to uh, determine uh, who the right brokers are to work with in that area. Uh, you can also drive for dollars. So you can see as you drive around uh, around the area, which if any properties have for sale signs or managed by or owned by particular companies, you can see who the brokers are for those particular companies um, for properties for sale. And you can tally up and contact the most common ones uh, that you're seeing are the ones that are uh, that have properties in particular areas. It's a great way to go about figuring out who's actually a good or a big broker uh, within the area. And then lastly, a good, uh, in my opinion, one of the best ways to go about uh, finding um, brokers within a particular market is to go to a website that has a lot of listings up, like your LoopNet uh, and your Crexies. And even to some extent, if you have a CoStar or uh, Reonomy, you can use those sites to figure out who actually has deals up. And it's also a great way to... Uh, to uh, filter out who is actually multifamily or just another type of uh, commercial real estate broker is, is using uh, websites like LoopNet, for example. So how do you go about actually using those websites? Well, if you ever use a LoopNet, you go to it and you can search a particular area and it'll give you a map view of what properties are actually uh, on the market or, or uh, you know, still under contract or whatever within a particular area. And so you can look up if any properties are any multifamily properties are actually on the market in your area. Uh, you can also see any past sales as well within that and within that area. And one of the good things about LoopNet is you can actually search for brokers within a particular area and search for brokers who are like investment brokers, um, sales brokers, and you can kind of whittle down from there and see, um, hey, it'll give you a list of these brokers. And you can say, hey, I want to know more about this individual, John Smith, and you click on John Smith and you can see all the deals that they've done previously, how much experience they have, if they are uh, primarily specializing in multifamily or not, and really whittle down who is actually a good fit or not. Uh, if you see some, an individual in there who's consistently selling deals, consistently has uh, deals closed on over the years and is also a multifamily broker, you may put that down on your list and you know plan to reach out to them at a later time. And you can do something similar with uh, with Crexy as well. So those are a number of different ways you can find brokers that I've had experience with. I'm sure there are 
a ton other that individuals uh, and other markets have gone about doing. Uh, going to local real estate meetups is a great way to go about doing it. Just showing up at a brokerage as well to talk about, to talk with them about, hey, you know, this is who I am, this is what I'm interested in, so on and so forth, and establishing the relationship there. Uh, you can do cold calling of, of brokers. Uh, you can go to uh, see if there's any broker events or broker conferences within an area and, and show up at those. A number of different ways you can go about doing it. But uh, those are the ones that I like doing uh, or have had experience in success doing. Uh, and so I wish you the best of luck with that. And that is the first part of the series about how to find commercial real estate brokers. Next time we will talk about how to actually call or email uh, the broker and how you actually go about contacting them to be successful. So until next time, we'll catch you later on the Lessons in Real Estate show. Thanks for listening. If you are a military investor and found this episode of the Lessons in Real Estate show packed with great information, tell your friends and leave a five-star rating on your listening platform. Every comment is read and appreciated. Don't forget to check out our weekly episodes of PCI Teaches, brought to you by Pinto Capital Investments. Learn about basic and advanced topics in real estate investing. Catch updates on Anthony's journey through learn and teach segments. And listen to the tales of other military investors and real estate professionals every week. We'll catch you next time on the Lessons in Real Estate show.